SARS is severe acute respiratory syndrome. It's caused by the coronavirus, uh, which is an RNA virus uh, that it's similar to the viruses that cause the common cold, has a very high potential for natural evolution, so it can, ch can change itself a lot. Now, with SARS, uh, it's an interesting story because this is an infection that first started predominantly in Hong Kong and Beijing and Guangdong province in China, but very rapidly appeared in Toronto. And what happened there is that we had a highly infectious agent that exemplifies this global village we live in. There was a scientific meeting in Hong Kong, someone got sick, they wound up in Toronto, and it was all over the place. But SARS is an example in which we were much better at identifying the agent rapidly by, DNA, by, by sequencing. Uh, we were also able to realize that the only thing that would be effective was quarantine. And this is interesting because, in fact, Singapore was very effective in quarantine. They said, this is what we have to do to stop this, whereas Hong Kong and Toronto were not. Ultimately, uh, it stopped. The uh, dealing with this was very effective. And actually, there were very few deaths, if you look at it in a global way. But the effect on the economy was enormous. And so this tells us that even a minor outbreak is going to have severe economic implications globally. And what it did do, though, was help the World Health Organization build a network of reporting, of understanding, of diagnosing outbreaks of diseases everywhere in the world so that we would know how to respond and deal rapidly with them.